welcome back to this family adventures i'm lauren i'm gwen and today, today we have pin mail yes. of course look at that big package i was a big spender this week well this past week so where you want to start with marcy have, yeah that's the only thing we have in common i didn't even open mine just came today. Well, you, you are mother and daughter. You have that come. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Sometimes I'm not sure about that. <laughs> oh my god. That's a little. No, you're just so different. I don't. <laughs> Mike doesn't think so. <laughs> I feel like I just spit. Ew, Corona! <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Oh, no. If it was not. Out. <laughs> we did just eat dinner. Okay, let's get into the pins. You might have to cut some of that. Because that was gross. She just wiped something on me too. Okay. So we're going to start with Marcy. Here's her card. And I have, ooh, no. these are good ones. Yeah. Some trolley um, sour crawlers, the gummy worms. They weren't like gummies, but. And my me. favorite Tootsie Rolls. So thanks, Marcy, because I love these. <laughs> yeah, you are a gummy person. Yes. And then I All have right. some pins. So I have some color street stuff, but I don't know if I show that or wait till. Up to you. You got more candy. Well, she just gave me a little um goodie bag of it says Color Street Nail Boss because I did join under her as a stylist. So it was just some goodies in there, little trinkets, bracelet, and necklace. Um, and I got yeah, lemon head. Is that now later? Yeah. Tootsie Rolls and Smarties. Oh, I forgot I bought these. I forgot How about this quickly you song. forget. I know. Because you buy so much stuff. There's some dog hair in there. That's okay because I have a dog too. And I, I won. Um, did she have the wheel? I already forget. Was it the wheel? She had the wheel, but you had to spend forty dollars. Okay, and then I won these. So because it was Pokemon, yeah, festival Pokemon Go Festival, you had that was one of the games she was playing. Um, I got a Poliwog. Um, it's like a little pin on a bottle cap, and then Poliwogs on the front of it, just his face. I got because if she said Pokemon, you had yeah. to write your favorite thing and I didn't know what who your buddy was. was. I so told long. her to she write Pikachu. Pikachu. <laughs> and I yeah. think I was like the first one who wrote it or second one. So I could, I just got this Pokemon. Pokemon Go pen. We actually play. My buddy's Pulse. I just think Pulse is cute. No reason. I don't play often. During quarantine it was something fun to do with Richie. But getting into the pins... I bought a few fantasy this week, but the first one I bought, which was how I won the prize, was I got this $40 pin of the Main Street Electrical Parade, but it's of Elliot because I collect Elliot, and it's an Ellie 2000, and I really like it. It's pretty big, so, and it looks like it does something. I don't know if it's a spinner. What's the PP? I don't know. It does say PP. What's that mean? Park proof? Park? Pass. No, I wouldn't be. That's not artist proof. So, write in the comments what PP means because I don't know. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But it says PP on the back. So, this is Elliot. And I really like this. Sorry if I'm shaky. I feel like I'm shaky today. 
But I love all the glitter effects in him. Yeah, it's really, I like it too. Glitter. It doesn't have the backing on. So that's a nice pin. To oh, I do like that. Yeah. And even though it's the electrical parade, you can't really tell that it's a float. It still looks like Elliot. And then I won because when you spend 40, you got to spin. And I won these pins of Discuss and Sim Sim Alice. Do you want to know what it means? Yes, please. So it says, it's in reference to like artist proof. Artist proof is, this stamp is on the back of the pins means one of 24. A PP is pre-production, rarer okay. than APs. They are one of three. Oh, wow. wow. Lucky me for my Elliot collection. <laughs> and I keep, I bought a, what are they called? Not a pin board. Pin book. That green pin book. Oh, yeah. What are they called? Pin book. <laughs> <laughs> Portfolio? Yes, a pin folio. I bought one of those to transport my pins, and every time I come down, I forget to bring it. <laughs> Do you want me to keep going? I guess I only have one. Okay, so the next one I got is Studio um, Disney Studio Store Hollywood. This one was 30 but it's of Doc and Happy with the organ. So I have a few of these organs already. The only other one I want to get is the Alley Cats from Aristocats. And then I'll be done with those. I don't have every single one. I don't want all of them. But I was happy because I started my Snow White. Plus it has Doc on it. And like I said in another video, Mike started collecting Doc pins. Did you show them? Mm -hmm. Oh, why is that so shiny? Because it's gold. gold. <laughs> Real gold? No, it would be more than $30. <laughs> but I like that Doc's a pin on pin on this. Then the next, I picked up a few fantasy pins. This one's from Mike's collection of Wally. I put my glasses on so I could specifically look at the back of these, but I still can't. It's super shiny though. Um, and this back is just black. But that, the dwarf one is. LE300. I don't know if I said that. Yes, 300. And then the next fantasy pin, I thought this was so cute of the little bow, or I think that's what it's called, mm -hmm. right? The dumplings. For $6, I wanted this. Because that will go on my Pixar board. That short is cute. It's a little weird, but it's cute. <laughs> when she ends up eating her son, it's kind of weird. And then I was happy to add, um, they came out with the Wishable pins, and I saw that the blind bags that have five in the set are going for um, $40 or more just to buy the pack of five. So they were selling these for $10. I mean, I Couple guess. A couple of them were more, they? Yeah. <clears throat> but I picked up Sven, and I'll put close ups. Get these off the... Can you open that? And then I have Nemo. I don't want the whole set. Like the Haunted Mansion. I don't collect Haunted Mansion. The alien. So I won't have that. But I think these are so cute. And I've recently sold some of my Wishables. So this is cute to add them kind of back to my collection. And then the last pin I picked up, I assume this is another fantasy pin. I think it is. It does say Disney 693 on the back of it. But it's a flounder and all the little accessories that Ariel has in her little cavern. There's the pipe, a treasure chest, a candle stick, the dingle hopper, and a necklace, and then flounder in the middle. I think it's really cute. So here's a close-up. I 
And the treasure chest is all sparkly. And these wishable pins say 2019 on the back, even though they didn't come out until 2020. Wow. It's very, very small though. So that's all the pins from Marcy for me. So I have one, and it's Walt Disney's 100th year works of art. This is Walt's 100th, and it's mini sitting. And doing pottery. Yes, and so it referenced yeah, it goes. ghosts and said that Patrick Swayze was sitting behind her. Which I thought was cute. Yeah, I figured you would get that. And you were quick on that one. Yeah, I don't know, because usually... That's mine. Uh, how is that yours? Yeah, I came up with this one. Is it a, um... But it's not, uh... It's a Disney pin. Yeah, it's just... Uh, I thought you were handing it to me like it was mine. So yeah, that's that's all we have for Marcy. And she's off this week, so Yeah, lucky for me because I don't have the You're money. broke, I huh? Know. Yeah, too much spending. Alright. So. Maybe you could become a <laughs> color street stylist or make some money. Well, I was I was looking into um, Sensi because there's some new Disney releases coming out, and actually a coworker signed up for it because I was talking about it. <laughs> and she never said you'll buy it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's shoot, I should have gotten her for a color street. All right. Shout out to Kelly if you're watching. <laughs> Alright. I do want to open this real quick. Okay. I'm into my next. Because I know she posted these. She made these? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Marty's very arts and craftsy. Let's look at this really pretty necklace. I do like it because it, it's like a tree almost. Yeah. And you got pink, and that's your favorite, favorite color. color. I know. How did she know? Yep, so that's cute. And, and she, even the bag. Did you show the bag? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's Butterfly. Butterflies, which are her favorite, and purple is Marcy's favorite. Yeah. Nail yeah, stuff, I guess she made from her um, cricket, right? I, yeah, I would think so. What? You should know you have one. Well, I don't have that type of material, like, that it has the thing over. But I will just set up the they are. That's cute. Alright, so. And then, and nail stickers. I like these, um, ocean ones. Sea creatures. And then little flowers. They're cute. Alright, and then the next package is someone new. So, shout out to Connor. Um, they tagged us in a sale post of a pin I've been eyeing, trying to buy. And I was able to score this. Now, I feel bad because I totally forget who I purchased them from. Here we go. Daisy Pins. Okay, so Daisy Pins on Instagram. It's all wrapped nice and bubble wrap. And they were well-priced pins, too, because I've seen these on eBay for a lot more, which is why I haven't purchased it yet. But I got the Snow White um, character key. So who's left? Ariel and Aurora. 
There's also Elsa and Anna and Olaf, but I don't want them. So this is, uh, it's LA 250 and I have number 137. I just like all the details in this. Like that, it goes through everything. I just need to find the frames to put these I thought in. you had them in frames. I have the two, mm -hmm. I have, um. The Evil Queen. Uh, yeah, yeah, Maleficent in frames because that's how I purchased them. And then of course I had to pay more because they were already framed. But the ones I bought from Alice House of Treasures and now um, Daisy Pins, I have to get frames for. And then the other pin I purchased from her because she had it for $15. And I've seen this go for like over $30. And it's a, I think it's a Loungefly. Yes. It's a Loungefly Aerial Pin. If I can get it off the plastic. It's of Ariel and Flounder. And I just think that's so cute, that pin. And for $15, I couldn't pass it up. So I'm happy to add this one to my collection. Yeah, well, I, I just have one eBay person. Mickey sitting on a lifeguard stand, and it's for the Beach Club Villas, so it's a DVC pin. It looks like a train, not a, like he's sitting, like he, a conductor. <laughs> Why? He has flip-flops on. <laughs> Why not? And he has a mask. From here. And, <laughs> oh, flippers. Yeah. Oh, I see it now. See, that looks like the... Fast? No. This where this <laughs> smoke comes out of the funnel at the uh, top. The funnel. Okay, so the funnel that looks like the funnel, and then his toes look like the front of the train. <laughs> From the side view, don't mind me. <laughs> he isn't barefoot, but close. Yeah, his toes are showing. So my ever-growing DVC board now. I don't know if that. I'm not gonna ask From two thousand three. Yeah, two thousand three. <clears throat> That's well. No, I have one more. From. Are we from done that this bag? one? No. Yeah, no. yeah, we are. But I want to get into Grape Soda Pin Club. I don't have. Let me grab a card. So Patrick and Sandy. Over on Instagram, I picked up a few, and of course they throw in the grape flavored candies, which Richie will eat those. And then I finally was able to add um, Jock and Gus Gus to my collection. I do have the girls like this already. I was so, just gonna say, I thought you were eating. Yeah, I have the girls. Um, this is from Disney Studio Store Hollywood, and this is Le three hundred. I wonder if everything from there is LED on it. I think, I want to say this. And then I'll just add my other ones to that. Very shiny. So I picked up a few others. I picked up this Pirates um, picture with Peter Pan and Captain Hook and the crew. And this is a limited release. I don't think they're all going to fit, so I'll show this. I think that's fine. Is this supposed to be like a photo bomb? Yeah, I think so, with Peter Pan. And then the next one I picked up was this Ursula, which I think this is funny, her laying down. But I didn't have it. And then I picked up this cute Snow White one. Because, you know, my crawling Snow White collection now. But she's holding a flower and she's like sitting. 
I thought that was cute. So they were my four pins from Grape Soda Pin Club. Do you want me to keep going? Yeah. Um, okay. No, I just have a... What do you have left? The big bag? Yeah. Well, then I'm also doing my one. Okay. <laughs> now this is from Shop Disney. And I actually just ordered this one at the beginning of the week. I don't, I don't even know what them. it is. Here's your favorite paper. Yeah. Oh, form. So again, I got this bubble protection and this big box for this little thing. I hate this. Like, why do they keep doing it? So I got myself the orange bird pen. Yay! So that's the open edition mm -hmm. one. And I've seen people already selling that for over $15. Yeah. Thank you for um, well, it's like, it's all in its own I know. I like, go get it. <laughs> or it's going to sell out and then you're going to have to pay ridiculous price for it. Oh, oh you already showed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, stupid. <laughs> no. All right, all right. So. I got my, this is quite heavy, um, I, I went a little crazy with this because I bought a fantasy pin that she created, and, um, do you, you always, I know, but she was like, if you buy my fantasy pin, you get free shipping, so free shipping, I got a whole bunch, I was trying to see how, if it says, like, the weight on here, but I don't see anything that it does. Is it heavy? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't believe me. All right, so this is going to be Does she have a flat hard. rate, or would it have been? No, it would have been actual cost. Now, she had to cut it open because I added a pin last minute. <laughs> this extra cheap on here. She's like, I'll slit it open and seal it back up. And then she mailed it, and then a few days later she posted more pins, and I bought another pin. <laughs> Did she have that in there, or no? No, no. Oh. That, I started a new bag. So, I bought this from oh. Disney Pin Pal Gal on Instagram, um, Janice, if you know her. But I always shop with her. I don't want to cut it. It's getting close. I almost cut something. Luckily I didn't. It's taped extra well here. I don't want to cut anything. I'm scared. Because she has done this before. Yes, I was so mad. Of course, it had to be a limited edition backer card I cut. I'm struggling. The struggle is real. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. So I won the thing and you have to say, <laughs> I want to get laid and you get a free lay. <laughs> so I got a pink one. So there you go. And how much did this cost you? Nothing. It was a prize. I won. Joking. Mom, joking. I know. So Disney Pin Pal Gal. That's her sticker. Here's her business card with Janet, and that's her logo, and that's actually the, um, the pin that I bought. So, oh look, this is the little one she added in. <laughs> so this was my last minute purchase. She posted, she had the new ink and paint mystery things. Have you seen them, by the way? I really I like the I packaging. I did. That they come in the little, like, almost paint cans. So I picked this one up, of course, from Mike. It's the only one I wanted out of this set. And if you've watched our videos, you probably already are saying it's Merlin. So we got this one. It's so tiny. But it even has the, I don't know how good that's going to come up, but the ink and paint. 
and then I'll do close-ups unless I fill the board. So she started off her first two hours of the live sale selling socks. And of course I picked up a few pairs. Um, I got these Rue. I really like these. Sorry, Richie's playing in the background if you can hear him. But it's just Rue. I really like these ones. I wasn't quick enough to get the Eeyore. She only had a few pairs. But I'm happy to have Rue. And then I picked up these because I really liked this oh, village color. bill. Yeah, but they were pink. I tried to get the jasmine ones, but my comments were getting eaten at that point. And then I picked these as my um, freebie because I spent over um, $100. I got a free pair of socks. And then I got another wishable pin. So I bought a few from her too. This is where it started. Because her live sale was Thursday, I think. So look how cute it is. Little flounder. And then, oh, this was a freak. I won another prize of these socks. <laughs> Um, first of all, you don't need any more socks. I know. I you have, have. I could have a collection of socks, too. <laughs> I do. <laughs> what don't you call it? What? I want napkins. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought these were cute because oh, cute. one always says, like, parties and fun, fun oh, things. Oh, I haven't had any of this. I know, but then also I won these ones, and I picked this because I figured she would like them. <gasps> Flamingos. Yeah. Oh, my favorite candy, high chews. Okay, so I know she did say no frills with the packaging like she normally does because she had so many orders and was wanting to get everything out. Um, so that's okay with me because I have so much anyway. But I want, or this was a free gift since I spent so much. Um, I picked, I picked the alien pin. I thought this was cute, and you can always use pen, pens. What I say, pin, pen, pin, whatever. And she threw in some cute poo stickers. This is just like full of goodies. And then, yeah, I'm excited about this. This is the Once Upon a Time collection of Aladdin. This is on the back of the card, too. This is LE2000, and you have Aladdin and Genie on one side, and then Aladdin and Jasmine on the other. I'll probably display it this way on my pin board. Now let's pull out the next. The next thing I see is a sticker because I purchased her fantasy, which she packaged up nicely. And I thought this was cute. She said she's going to make more in this series, so it's one of the reasons why I bought it. Because <laughs> if there's going to be other characters in, like, in vehicles. I thought that would be a fun series to collect. And it's a three inch pin. Let me take the board and show it. And then the next thing in the bag are four um, Toy Story 4 stickers. And then can you clear that and then we'll keep going. Because there's plenty more. All this bubble wrap. So I appreciate all the packaging to keep everything safe. Um, I picked up this Paris pin. I love Paris pins. I want all of them, but they're expensive unless you have a pickup person. But I, it's a 
Raja and Jasmine. I do have an acne pin like this, which is bigger, and they're actually on the opposite sides. So I was okay with getting this because it's slightly different. <laughs> and then I picked up another Jock and Gus Gus pin of them at the Studio Hollywood Store popcorn series. I don't want any of the others from this collection, I don't think, yet. <laughs> Yeah, but I thought it was cute because instead of the the beads, it's popcorn on his tail. And then the next one is Ariel. This is an older pin. It's her on the film reels studio hollywood store and then i have another paris pin of bambi i thought this one was really cute and i do have a bambi collection so i figured why not why not good enough excuse for me and this is from 2019 it isn't um a newer one i think but i thought it was cute bambi laying down with the flowers And then we have some foam confetti of flamingos and pineapples and palm trees and a little seahorse eraser. That's cute. And then oh, some this is strawberry. Like all up my alley. Yeah. Right here. Flamingo. That was kind of her, her theme yeah. for the sale was oh. Hawaiian ish. Oops. Like, yeah, you could have told me about it. I, you were on there, yeah. I thought. I'm just throwing the socks. I didn't know there was a theme. Um, and then the strawberry high chew. Okay. Getting into the next thing. Oh, I have an Epcot map. Is this a new map? I don't know. But I have an Epcot park guide. And then some candy. Yes, it is. And then my most favorite purchase of all I was able to get because these sell out so quickly. And I want, this is one I want a prize on. But I got the Loungefly Robin Hood pin. Now, the only one that I don't have that I still want is the Lilo and Stitch one. And I don't even collect Lilo and Stitch. Say, well, we but it's cute because it's like palm trees with the hammock. And then they have the little um, record player. But I think this is so cool. The box is a little damaged, but that's okay because I will take it out. And this is a LE500. And it's a three inch pin. Of Robin Hood, and then it has four posts. But I'll show you why there's four posts because you have your two pins, which I think is cute. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, there's a little scratch on there. Now I might keep it separate, but I don't like that. Now there's two holes in it, you know. So it's the reward. And that is glittery. And it keeps on going. It keeps on going. It does. There's only two more things in here. So I the next thing I picked up was this cute little poo bag. Well, I should say Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Marcy says, you took a poo bag? Um, but this is a mystery bag, and it came with a free set of sticky notes. Because you can always use those. And I like that Eeyore's on there. I actually have those, but 
you can always use more. But so what's so in that? So this was advertised as three pins. Four. The price, $30. But at, looking at it, I already have two of these pins, but that's okay. So we have the piglet with balloon. The I'm so busy. And then this cute tigger, which I don't have this one, so I'll definitely be keeping that. These are just open edition, edition ones on. Yeah, they were on Shop, Shop Disney. Disney. I really like this. I'll put them on here for a close up. Is that. Tigger from that set too? Or are no. these all like Tigger's different. I don't say, have he Tigger. Looks, and he's a, an old, old waffle bag. Yeah. Old gold waffle bag. So I guess you knew that they were gonna be Yeah, I knew poo. they were gonna be poo. I just didn't know what. But I have a Winnie you know, my your Winnie the Pooh collection. But I like the bag. I don't know what I'll use it for. Find something. Just a drawstring bag. And then this, I don't know what this is. So let's open it. So what's it. that? I don't know. I just said it. Ooh. I know, but did you buy it? Like I don't think so. Maybe she started to wrap up stuff. And then decided not to do everything. Because I didn't buy two mystery bags. I only bought one. No, it's just more pins I bought. <laughs> I didn't remember so buying don't this remember. pin. I don't remember buying it. You don't remember a lot. Because I told you I wasn't going to get it. It's the Tangle 10th anniversary pin. That's Long Shop Disney? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Was it cheaper there than Long Shop Disney? No. Lauren, That's we have I, to have a little chit chat. I don't think mm -hmm. I... But she got free shipping. Oh, so you don't think you bought this? No, I definitely probably... It was in my picture, so I know I paid for it. But I, I think... It got... But then I, I bought so much, I don't remember. I did buy these. You need to go to Sins Anonymous. <laughs> I can't oh. open it. <laughs> that didn't even get you. Felt like it. So this is the Robin Hood pin um, from November 8th, 1973. Now, Robin Hood came out then? Is that what that means? I guess. And this is pin 55 of 101. Ooh. On my boring you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's just too many pins. Since you don't remember buying them either. Well, oh, it's fun goodness. opening them. You and can it's, share this one, right? No. And then it's even funner putting them on my pin board. That's my favorite part. I know. I don't even get to put them on my pin board because either my father puts them all before I do or there's no room. <laughs> and I picked up another Paris pin of flower. Um, the Big Head Cuties. I'm not quite sure the actual name of it. I have Thumper, so I wanted to add flower. I do not have Bambi, but I don't think I'll purchase Bambi. I think I'll just keep it with flower and thumper. And then getting into the last thing of bubble wrap here. Oh yeah, these were some cute ones. I remember these. See, I don't remember that one. That's all. I think it was an accidental ad. So I grabbed the Ariel Wishable which I never had these, and now she's going for like three hundred dollars on secondary market. I picked up this cute Eeyore um, Paris pin. That's cute. Yeah. Pin holder. Slacking. <laughs> too long of <laughs> too many pins. Is it three hours later? <laughs> yeah, and this SpongeBob thing. Oh, I'm excited about here. Clear, 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 clear these off. She's yes. excited. 
So I grabbed this Brave pin, which i never seen it before, but it's like a 3D effect frame. And this is from 2014. But I thought that was neat. I have a small Brave collection. And then I picked up a okay. rush. Small? Yeah, Brave. Nah, medium. And now it's just... <laughs> <laughs> now it's just gonna grow. Yeah, cause mm -hmm. I I like the bears. So if there's a that doesn't have the bears on. The top. And then this is a Roger Rabbit pin that Mike didn't have with Benny. So I grabbed that one. I do though. I have to sit close to my pin boards when I'm watching live sales because I have to check to make sure. Cause I've done it a few times now. This one I thought was cute. It's actually a series of pins that you can put together and it makes a whole um, Christmas wreath. Is that the correct? I say it wrong sometimes. So it's kind of like a half of a Eeyore, but I thought it was cute. Just a Christmas Eeyore. I don't have many Christmas pins. And then this was a cute set that she was splitting from Shanghai, I think. It's very small. Yeah, Shanghai of Chip and Dale. And this one I picked up of the ice creams because I thought that was really cute. And I oh, collect yeah, Chip and cute. Dale. And then coming down to the last three pins, I can open the bubble wrap. How do you open? There we go. I have another Wishable of Buzz, and I picked up the Lounge Fly. This is from the Mystery Box of, um, I want to say Hulu. Is that, that's not right. Hulu's the show. Is it a Hulu skirt? Hulu? <laughs> Hula! Hula, thank you. I'm picking up the... I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I've been watching too much Hulu. <laughs> Oops, I dropped the pin back. Oh my goodness. I get tired every time I do this anymore. And then the last pin I purchased was of um, the child. That's just a lounge fly pin. I thought it was cute. Almost looks like a face in a shirt. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. The mouth, the two eyes. Oh, right here. Yeah, like a oogie boogie almost. But yeah, so that wraps up the pins. My favorite was definitely this. I think. <laughs> no, because I really like this one. And you really like this one. And this one. Yeah. Oh, I thought you went from them. Oh, uh, no. Just all the pins. And my little ice creams. Yeah, and the Elliot. That was... That's a cool I really one like too. that one. And I don't want even... That is just so pretty. The sparkle in that. Yeah. Glitter. I'm happy with all my pins. Money well spent. Well, please, if you made it this far, give the video a thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new. And leave us a comment. Yes. What was your favorite pin? And does she need to go to pins and moments? If I do, you need to go to Color Street and <laughs> Hey, uh, this is my, one, my job now. <laughs> And keep an eye out because we will be posting, um... We'll be selling all these pins. Not these pins, no. But we will be having a um, pin sale soon. Or maybe it's already happened. When this video comes out. Well, we'll see you in the next, next one. one. Bye. Bye.